yeah, this is my mom, Lee. Hi, everybody. And, and this is me, Newton. And I am going to be reading a story to you today and singing a couple of songs. And then, because I'm trying to learn to share, which is sort of hard for me sometimes, I'm going to share my next stories with my friends behind me. But for now, it's my turn. Yes, take it away, Newton. And I, I love this book. This is one of my favorite stories called Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Can you put your hand on your nose? If you have read this before or have it at home, or maybe you have it at school, I'm gonna be more. And this is by Bill Martin Jr. and John Archambault, and it's illustrated by Lois Ellert. Illustrated is a very big word to say a very simple thing. Lois drew the pictures. <laughs> oh, and you know what? Um, before we actually read, thanks, Tati. Before we read, do you see what we have here? What are those? Letters, that's right. Would, would you like to, I know a song about letters and I bet you guys know it too. That's it, that's it, wanna sing? Yeah, let's sing. Ready, one, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! Great job! I love your singing. <laughs> you know what? We can sing it at the end because there's more letters at the end of the book. All right. So, okay, Tati, chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Oh, if you know some of the words to this book, feel free to sing them along with me. Say them along with me, or sing them, whatever you'd like. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. A toe B, and B toe C. I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. We said D to E, F, G. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Hey, everybody say that part with me. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. And I and J and tag along K. All on their way up the coconut tree. Okay, everybody, here we go. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Look who's coming. L M N O P. And Q R S. And T U V. Still more. Wait, there's still more. W X. Y and what's that last letter? Z. Z! The whole alphabet up the. Oh no! Chicka, chicka, boom, boom! Oh dear, all oh, the letters fell down. Skit, oh, this is where I get to be a rapper. Yo, ready? Skit, skit, scootle doot, flip flop, flee. Everybody run into the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little dears, then dust their... Ah, I'm not wearing pants. Oh, don't look. <laughs> oh, they dust their pants. That's how the book goes. Help us up, cried A, B, C. And next from the pile up, skinned knee D and stub toe E and patched up F, and then comes G, ah, 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 all out of breath. Oh. And H is tangled up with I, J and K are about to cry. And L is knotted like a 
bow tie. <laughs> M is looped. N is stooped. O is twisted. Alley oop. Skit, scat, scoodle doo. Flip flop, flee. Look who's coming. It's Black Eyed Pea. And QRS and Loose Tooth Pea. And TUV. <laughs> Thank you. And then U, V, W, wiggle, jiggle, free. Last to come, X, Y, Z, yeah. And the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But get ready, everybody. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Look, there's a full moon. Ooh, A is out of bed, and this is what he said. Dare, devil, dare, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Yay! Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> there they are again. Would you like to sing that song again? What's your name? Margo, Margo wants to sing a song again. I agree, Margo, great idea. Okay, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Totsy. Well, my next friend to come up is Phineas the dog. But before I have Phineas come up, I really want to sing one more song. I love singing songs. And actually, I brought a little prop to help me sing this one. Mom, can you help me turn on my, my my flashlight? I sure can, Newton. You gotta hold it in your mouth, okay? Ah, okay. All right. I've got a little light here because this song is about light and shining it. Do you guys all know we are all beings of light? We all have light inside of us. Love and light. Right, Fisher? <laughs> and this song is called This Little Light of Mine. I'm gonna let it shine, and I'm gonna shine my light while I sing it, okay? Anybody wanna sing with me? Please sing, all right? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Yay, thank you for singing that. I love that song. Thanks, Newton. Let me, let me take your flashlight, give you a nice, nice uh, handshake. How about a hug, Mom? I think we're past handshakes. Okay, thanks, buddy. Thank you. You know, you don't mind letting Phineas do the next story, right? Yes, I'm going to do the next story. Okay. I have a dog here. My good friend Phineas the dog. Hi, everybody. My name's Phineas, and I would like to sing this, I mean, I would like to read this funny book about a king in the bathtub. <laughs> and it's called King Big Goods in the Bathtub. Okay. It's by Audrey Wood and it's illustrated by Don Wood. That means Don Wood drew the really cool pictures. Whoopsie, let me just get that. Okay. Oh yes, isn't that a cool castle? Help, help, cried the page. That's that boy right there, when the sun came up. King Big Goods in the bathtub and he won't get out. Hey, that's a part that keeps coming up in this book. Would you guys say that part with me? King Big Goods in the bathtub and he won't get out. Ooh, ooh, 
knows what to do. I do, I do, cried the knight. When the sun came up, get out, it's time to battle. Oh, come in, cried the king with a boom, boom, boom. That today we battle in the tub. <laughs> wow, look at that. They're having a big battle right in their bathtub. Help, help, cried the page when the sun got hot. Okay, ready everybody? King bid good in the bathtub and he won't get out. Oh, who knows what to do? I do, I do, cried the queen when the sun got hot. Get out, it's time to lunch. Come in, cried the king with a yum, yum, yum. Guess what he's gonna do in the tub, everybody? Uh-oh. Oh, he's having lunch in the tub today. We lunch in the tub. <laughs> help, help, cried the page when the sun sank low. You ready, everyone? King, big good in the bathtub, and he won't get out. Who, who knows what to do? I do, cried the Duke, when the sun sank low. It's, get out, it's time to fish. <laughs> Come in, cried the king with a trout, trout, trout. Look what he's gonna do in the bathtub, guys. Look, <laughs> today we fish in the tub. Can you guys pretend to catch a fish in the tub? Ooh, maybe next time you guys take a bath, you will catch a fish. Help, help, cried the page when the night got dark. King Big goes in the bathtub and he won't get out. Who knows what to do? We do, we do, cried the court when the night got dark. Get out for the masquerade ball. Come in, cried the king with a jig, jig, jig. Oh, guess what? You know what a ball is? It's a dance. And a masquerade ball is a dance where you dress up as somebody else. Kind of like Halloween. Tonight, we dance in the tub. <laughs> help, help, cried the court when the moon shone bright. King Big goes in the bathtub and he won't get out. Who knows what to do? I'm, I said, who knows what to do? What, what to do? What should we do, Sky? <laughs> Let's see what happens. I do, said the page when the moon shone bright. And then he pulled the plug. Oh dear. Oh, don't look. Oh, that's okay, Tati. Don't look, don't look, he's just wearing a hot <laughs> towel. Glob, glob, glob. <laughs> the end. Thanks, Minnie. Oh, thank you. Hey, before I go and, and turn it over to my last friend, I want to sing a song. It reminds me of well, the bathtub and water and all. Do you guys know the song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat? Because that has to do with water, right? Hey, Mom, this worked out. It worked out, Finny. Why don't you sing your song, buddy? Okay, anybody that wants to sing their song with me, let's, we sing together. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. One more time. Row, row, row your boat gently through the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Yay! Thank you! Okay, I have one last story. And Tachi, actually, could you turn the pages for this one too? Right, is that okay? Yes, that's great, Finn. Thanks, buddy. This is a book called I'm a Frog by Mo Willems. Does anybody know Piggy and Gerald books? Piggy the pig and Gerald the elephant. They're really fun. Is he a frog? No. No, 
he's a pig. So let's see what this is all about. This pig that thinks he's a frog. And Floyd, because this is a book about pretending. Thank you, actually, Piggy is a she. Thank you very much, Fisher, for keeping me on my toes. Since this is a book about pretending, we are going to pretend that Newton is the pig and Floyd is the elephant. We can move this out of the way. We'll give you some room here. Just don't let that fall on you guys. Okay, ready? Can get you hear me? Oh, wait, I'm ready. I am. Hey, you got a frog. That's perfect. I'm a frog. Pretend I'm really a pig that's pretending I'm a frog. <laughs> Ribbit. Ribbit. Huh? Ribbit. Ribbit. Uh, piggy? Doing piggy? Ribbit! Huh? You are a frog? Yes! <laughs> I did not know that. Hmm. Yes, I'm a frog! Uh I was sure you were a pig. Oh uh, Lou, you look like a pig, and your name is Piggy. <laughs> I was a pig. Now I am a frog. Ribbit! Ribbit! <laughs> you learn something new every day. Oh, when did you become a frog? Oh, about five minutes ago. Five minutes ago? Oh! Wait, five minutes ago, she was a pig, and now she is a frog? What? Ribbit! Ribbit! Uh, what if I become a frog? Oh, hopping all day, eating flies. No, no. Oh, oh. That sounds gross. Okay, Gerald. It is pretend. Huh? Pretend? This is the end? What? No, no, Gerald. I said it is pretend. I'm pretending. Wait, what is pretending? Pretending is to be something that you really are not. Wow, and you can just do that? You can just pretend, go out and pretend to be something you are not? Sure, everyone pretends. Even grown-up people? Yes, all the time. <laughs> You really do learn something new every day. Do you want to try it, Gerald? Mm. Uh, do you want to pretend to be a frog? Ribbit! Mm. I don't think so. I, I cannot. Yes, you can! Ribbit! Ribbit! No, I can't. Yes, you can. Can't he, guys? He can't, yeah. No, I can't. Yes, you can. 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 No, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. No, no, I can't. Gerald, why can't you pretend to be a frog? Because I am a cow. <laughs> Moo! <laughs> ribbit! Ribbit! Ribbit!
Día de Mu. The end. The end. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Dorothy. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for coming. That's our story time for today. If any of the kids would like to come up and say hi to the puppets, I will be happy to bring out anybody you'd like to say hi to. Oh, and we'll be back um, March 28th in two weeks, so come back for our last story time of the spring. Who would you guys like to say hi to? Do you want to say hi to Newton? Hi! I have been a puppeteer all my life. Um, I started doing puppet shows as a little kid and putting them on for my family behind the couch. Um, but I've been doing it in public professionally for well, I started many years ago and then felt like I needed to get a real job. So I went off and got a degree and became a teacher for a couple of years and realized that just wasn't my calling. So in this last iteration of um, doing puppeteering work, I have been a puppeteer for uh, about a year and a half in this last stint. So <laughs> start, I was here at the Hingham Library back 10 years ago when I first started doing it. I had a big stage and sets and music and it was kind of too much. So I pared it down the second time around and right now we're reading stories, or me and Newton. Hi, I'm reading stories uh, to the kids. And it's very simple and fun and I can see their faces and see how they're reacting. Um, and we started doing that, um, I would say in probably March of 2014 about a year. Uh, here in Hingham, um, we have one more in March, March 28th, Saturday at 10 a.m. Um, but we also are performing in Cohasset on March 24th at 10.30, the Cohasset Library. And, oh, I'm sorry, March 20th in Kingston, the Kingston Library, also at 10.30. And then in April, we're at the Cohasset Library uh, let's see, the 7th and 21st at 10.30, that's um, both on Tuesdays. And again, we'll be in Kingston on the 17th, Friday at 10.30 in April. Um, if we have a full schedule at www.throughmetoyou.com slash puppetry. And we're always updating the schedule, so feel free to check that out. So I have uh, three main puppets. The first one is Newton. Hi, my name's Newton, as she just said. And as you can see, I, I'm not really sure what Newton is. He is, who are you, Newton? What are you? I'm, I'm me, I'm, I'm me, I'm Newton. But I was once compared to a flower. <laughs> I, I like that, I like that description. <laughs> and Newton is just fun and silly and loves to sing and he's just full of life. Um, I also have here, let me grab you two guys. The second one I have, actually this was sort of the first one, Phineas the dog. Hello, I'm Phineas the dog, and I like to read. I, I, I'm sometimes a bit shy, so some days I don't read, but I, I love to see the kids at the end of the story time and give them high fives and hugs. And I also have, let me put you down here, Finny. Oh, if you must. And Floyd, Floyd, hey man. I'm Floyd and I'm pink. I'm Pink Floyd. And sometimes I don't like to read, but I definitely like to say hi to the kids. Uh, I'm just starting to learn how to do this, actually. My friend Newton and Finn are real nice to let me, you know, have a chance. Yeah, you're cool, Floyd. You're doing it. You're doing it, man. You're making it work. Thanks. Thanks, yo. Peace. <laughs> Oh boy, what made me want to be a puppeteer? Um, like I say, I think I've been doing this my whole life. I've just always, I can't not do it. I've always had voices for my stuffed animals as a kid, um, for my dog. <laughs> uh, it just, uh, it's just something that's part of me and um, I can't turn it off. So I figured I might as well try to put it out there in the world and, you know, make it my career. <laughs> Why fight it? <laughs> Go for my passion. I would love for the kids to take away from the shows a sense of um, that it's okay to be themselves, to have fun, to it's okay to laugh out loud, to be a little bit loud in the world, to be silly, um, and to enjoy reading and, and ha foster a love of books. Uh, but mostly it's just to have fun and really love themselves. I also perform in Cohasset um, pretty much every other Tuesday, Cohasset Libraries, 
Tuesdays at 10.30 with Sharon Moody. Uh, she's the librarian there. Um, I'm in K Kingston maybe once every five weeks on Fridays at 10.30. And I have kind of random shows in Holliston, Arlington, Norton, um, occasionally Duxbury, Norwell. So we're, we're sort of all over. Um, so I, I invite you to check out the website at www through me to you.com slash puppetry and you can see the full schedule there.